there's uh, some kind of retro 70s James Bond girl going on and there's some like kind of... Wait, stop. The rumor is that you're going to be a Bond girl. Is oh, that a little hint? This is in the works, so just, oh, we, don't, we, oh, don't, we don't know. After playing a spy in her toxic music video, Britney Spears was almost a Bond girl. That's just one of many career bombshells Britney broke to E.T. in 2004. You know, before she married Kevin Federline and had two babies instead. I don't want to give borrow. everything away, okay. man. We're, we're, There's got to be some surprise. Okay. One surprise Britney teased had to do with a celebrity guest appearance that was supposed to happen during her Showtime special from Miami. Well, there's a very special guest that's going to be there. Yes. and I'm Male, like, female? It's a male. Tall, dark, I, I uh, worship, available. I worship him. He's not available. <laughs> he's just a very, he's an amazing artist. He's brilliant. Dancer, so, singer. He's a singer. And in another interview, Britney revealed she was part of a movie that never ended up happening. But my first role that I'm supposed to be doing, it's a movie that, it's called Door to Door. Mm -hmm. And we're still like, um, you know, in the whole process of doing that. That's my next project. I'd love to do more movies. I'd love to do like three or four more movies and then get back on the singing trail of things. E.T. was Britney's go-to show as she released her fourth album, In The Zone. The only difference is the fact that I really took my time to record and really go, you know, and make it right. If I wanted to record a song in two hours or three days, it was my schedule. And just having that behind me, I, I don't know, musically I probably changed, but as a person, I think I'm still, you know, same girl. Oh. I think if you're one to work out, there's songs that if you can, you know, Brave New Girl is such a workout song. She's gone songs like um, Every Time If You Want to Have an Emotional Breakdown and Cry. And then there's um, songs like, uh, you, of course you have to have a mate with you and light the candles and um, have those special moments. We were backstage with B as she got ready for her 2003 ABC special promoting the record. This is the first time I'm presenting myself with all of my new music. My favorite songs, Toxic's the first song, which is going to be very gothic and feely and touchy. It's about a, um, being a really addicted to a guy. He's like, he's a drug to you. <laughs> then it goes into Breathe On Me, which is a really, really um, sensual song. You don't actually physically touch a guy, but it's just the touch and the presence of him makes you <gasps> very aroused. Beyonce said that she's actually really shy and that when she's on stage and she becomes this sexual seductress, she names it, she calls her Sasha. Are there kind of different sides of you? Maybe I should be Britannia. Britannia, you heard it here first. I like that. <laughs> no, um, I think I definitely do that. When I get around people that I don't know, I get very, I'm very introverted and like, hi, how's this to meet you, you know. But when I get on stage, I'm like, yeah, I have, I have the same thing going So on. is there a switch that you flip on? Where yeah, it's like, it's, like, it's like when you get on stage, it's just like this different persona comes out and you're like, oh, you feel like you can take over the world. And on her 2004 Onyx Hotel tour, Britney planned to do just that. Onyx is an actually a, a black stone. Whatever light is reflected on it in, um, in real life, that's the, the stone changes colors. And I thought it was kind of symbolic to what I do too. Whatever light is projected on me and being an actress, that's what character you become. Right. And like I come, I go through all these different characters to the show. And we made it the Onyx Hotel because I'm traveling right now. I'm in so many different hotels and just to whole, you know, combine the whole thing together. I know this sounds really cheesy, but you have to respect yourself and I know it sounds really weird, but really don't care what people think and go with your instincts on what you think of videos. Because actually when I came up with a lot of the concept for the songs and the video, a lot of people are like, whoa, you know, we can't do this. And go with it and really believe in it and, you know, just believe in yourself. And I think that's what makes you keep, you know, that's staying on top of the game. And, and honest, I love what I do. Right. I like, I love working and I, you know, and I love different. this very much you're, so. Is it grueling preparing for a tour? Um, it's kind of hard, but um, like I said, I love I love working out, and um, I, I go through like I'm gonna have a two weeks rehearsal before the tour, and um, me and the dancers will have a time the first week to just kind of get to know each other and chill and vibe with each other, and I mean doing the promotion and stuff over.
overseas has kind of helped us, like me, vibe with them and get the energy feel of what we're gonna feel when we're on stage, you know? I get extremely nervous, I do. But right when I get on stage, and right before it's a little annoying, because I'm like, oh my God, why am I so nervous? I've done this You're so many times, I'm a pro, why am I so nervous? And then I'll get on stage and then it goes away. It's like, I feel like, it's just the anticipation that right. freaks me out. But um, it's exciting, Is I think it's a more. High? Oh, there's an extreme hot. When you get out there and you see the fans and the energy, it's just overwhelmingly cool. You're so young. What lessons have you learned? I have to say I chose this for my life and I feel very blessed. I sound so deep and philosophical, but it's true. It's like it's I really, true. I feel very blessed with everything that's around me. But I think there's ups and downs with anything that you do, you know, and I think that the way they do um, the press, the media, but ever since I was 16, they focused in on negative connotations with me sometimes. And it's because just- Because you're a target. Yeah, you know, and I think- You're young, you're successful. Exactly. You get that. But, um, but I just, and at first when I was really young, I was just very, it was kind of cool in a way because I was very naive and oblivious to the whole thing. I was like, I'm just doing my thing, you know? And then once you get older, it's like you become a little bit more aware. And it, which is kind of a sad thing because it's like, oh, what are they saying? But it's like sometimes I, I try to snap into that, um, that mode of just, you know what, you, you have to just live your life, you know, and do what I love to do and move on and, you know, focus on, you know, positive things and not let, you know, stuff like that get you down because otherwise you go crazy. What makes you happy? I love to write. I love to write. I'm always writing in my journal, writing things. I like to be by myself. I know I sound like a loner. I like being alone, just being with my special friends sometimes too, like a small intimate, you know, just having like little parties at the house and watching Sex in the City together. I'm a girl who loves coffee, Starbucks. Okay. I love to read magazines. <laughs> <laughs> I love going to the movies. Um, I don't know, just normal stuff like that. Baby, can't you see? I'm calling. What was the concept of the video? The concept was basically I just wanted to do something where I could play a bunch of different characters and play with a bunch of different looks and um, the whole concept of me playing this villain was just so intriguing to me. I just thought it would be a lot of fun, you know, and to go through all these guys and manipulate them and to be like, you know, power girl, you know. So that's basically the whole concept of the video. But. Um, I don't know, I think one of the, my favorite shots is the one where I had the red hair. I just like, I was feeling that so much. Yeah, and just was, to see yourself in different looks yeah, and stuff I was gonna like ask that. You. It was, it's just really, it's fun. What happened, with, what happened to you when you were a redhead? I got to be on a bike with Tyson. Yeah. And um, I had these crazy glasses on and it was like a cat suit. And I was really feeling the part. My manager was like, oh, who is she today? <laughs> I like the nookie nookie in the plane. It was a little uncomfortable, but um, being, you know, we were there and we just started doing it and the guy that I was with was totally, you know, we were just work, trying to work it out. It was team effort, you know, but um, it was cool. Yeah, but I know when I saw the shot, it looked a lot more sexy and smooth on camera than what it actually felt. <laughs> E.T. spoke to Brittany one more time before she left for her tour. I just got finished with my first like real run through like a couple of seconds ago, and it was really cool. The flow of it is so much fun to do, and um, it's cool. Do you ever have a moment where you're sitting there going, What the hell am I doing? Yeah. How am I gonna pull this yeah. off? Yeah, is it that complicated yeah. in terms yeah. of? Yeah, but we have one more week left of rehearsal, so I'm gonna be able to pull it off. But it's just, um, this is the first tour that I'm doing where I have, it's 17 songs that I'm doing. Wow. So it's, it's a really long show. Is there any theme of the costumes? I've had a lot of amazing, uh, cool shows with costumes and stuff, this is by far the best costumes I've ever had. It's gonna, it's cool. I feel like I can't wait to put the clothes on and just be like, hi, just be on stage. It's like playing dress. It's the funnest thing in the world. How many? How many I have, costume actually I only have seven. There's the last where I had um, uh, 120. 89. How do you stay sane on the road? What Believe it or not, being on stage keeps me sane. It's like my therapy. Really? It's like I do my therapy in front of the world. It's really weird.